Hello guys and welcome back. So in this section we'll talk about the can activate and the can activate child guards. Now uh, can activate checks to see if the user can visit a route and can activate child checks if the user can visit the children of uh, a particular route. Okay. Uh, so basically what we need to do in creating these guards is uh, to create a class that is decorated with an injectable decorator which would eventually convert uh, them into a service and then we'll have to implement the can activate and or the can activate child interfaces from at the rectangular slash router okay now based on which particular interface we have implemented we'll have to define a method either can activate or can activate child that would accept these two arguments a route and a state the route being uh, an activated route snapshot um, instance while a state being a router state snapshot okay and then inside uh, inside these two functions uh, we will have some logic that would eventually return a boolean or an observable or a promise uh, wrapping a boolean okay and then this particular boolean is going to decide if the user is going to navigate uh, to a particular route whether it is a parent route or a child route okay and uh, after that once we have uh, created those guards then we can simply add them to the can activate or the can activate child uh, property arrays in in the route configuration object okay uh, and these are mostly used for uh, checking if the user has a log has logged in and has uh, whether uh, sufficient privileges to you know navigate to a particular uh, route okay so let's say for example in this section uh, right now i'm able to navigate to basically all the routes here like so okay now let's say if uh, i wanted the only uh, some users to uh, to have access to the blog section okay so what i can do in that case is i can implement uh, a can activate guard in that case okay so to do that i'll just create a guard using angular cli uh, so i'll do ng g for generate g for guard and in the guards folder i'll create an auth guard now since uh, angular is not going to create a folder for me for this auth guard i'll wrap this or i'll specify one more um one more element in this path and then i should expect to see a folder named guards created for me inside which there would be a folder named auth and inside that auth folder will have the guard files okay now by default some of the code is already uh, provided to us by uh, by angular cli okay and this by default implements a can activate guard that is what we are going to use here now since it is implementing the can activate interface um it is defining a method named can activate uh, that is accepting two arguments next and state next being uh, an instance of the activated route snapshot while state being uh, an instance of the router state snapshot okay and uh, this is going to return either a boolean or a promise wrapping a boolean or an observable wrapping a boolean which eventually returns a boolean right here okay so right now it's true okay i'll just save this and in the app routing module if i have to use it i'll have to add the providers array okay and to the providers array i'll have to register this um, guard so i'll do something like auth guard that is something that i'll have to import okay from its specified path and let me just cut this uh, from here and paste it right here so that we have an alphabetical sequence and now in the blog uh, route object i can specify a can activate a uh, property with a value of an array and in this array the first uh, element would be that auth guard okay so now whenever we try to navigate to blog what angular will do is angular will see that it has a can activate guard okay 
uh, which uh, essentially you know which essentially takes us to the uh, auth guard inside which we have this method implemented and whatever this returns will determine or will decide whether the user should be allowed to navigate to that particular guard or uh, to that particular route or not okay so if i save this now and go back okay i'm still on the blog if i go to users and i click on blog i'm still able to navigate to the blog uh, route right here okay that is because the auth guard scan activate method here returns true okay if i change this to false though like so and save this if i go back now it won't allow me to navigate to blog so if i uh, click this as many times as i want it won't be allowing me to navigate to the blog section okay it will redirect me to uh, to my local host colon 4200 that is my root route okay so that is something that uh, that a can activate guard can do okay now let's say i wanted to uh, navigate i wanted to prevent the user from navigating to this particular child route here okay or these child routes over here okay so that is something that can be done using uh, can activate child and that is something that we'll be seeing next so now uh, to implement can activate child what we can do is we can uh, use the same auth guard okay now instead of implementing the can activate interface we'll be implementing the can activate child interface and uh, can activate child is something that we'll have to import from angular router okay and now uh, since i'm implementing the can activate child method i'll need to define a method inside my uh, class my auth guard class that says can activate child and now can activate child again will have things like next which is again an activated route snapshot okay and this will also receive a state that is a router state snapshot okay and this would eventually return an observable of type boolean or a promise which is of type boolean or simply a boolean okay so right now i'm simply returning a boolean but essentially we can use a service call here that would um, determine whether a user is logged in or not and then based on that it would return true or false based on the logged in state of a user okay so i can now return false from here okay and to use the can activate child guard inside my app routing module i'll use it for this so if I say specify the can activate child uh, property here, and uh, this would be auth guard. Okay. Uh, essentially, it should uh, prevent me from navigating to a child route. Okay. But then it should allow me to navigate to users. Okay. But if we have uh, an empty path over here, like so, then it won't allow me to navigate to the user's route as well because essentially user slash nothing is just the parent route that is user. So it is something that um, Angular will not allow me to do. So I'll just comment this one out as of now and let's save this and check if it is allowing me to navigate to users. Okay, so uh, right now the blog is not accessible. Okay, because the guard is returning false users is accessible because uh, on the users we have used it on the child route so we have used the can activate child guard over there okay so essentially i can navigate to the users guard or to the users route but if i try to navigate to one of the child routes let's say this one which would take me to user slash two then it won't allow me to uh, navigate to that particular route i'm trying to click on this uh, a lot of times but it's not allowing me to navigate to that particular route okay so this is how you can use the can activate and the can activate child guards in your angular applications to prevent the user or unauthorized access to prevent unauthorized access 
to some routes or their child routes in an angular application okay in the next video we will talk about uh, how we can prevent the user from navigating away from a particular route uh, for instance if the user is filling out a form and then the user uh, accidentally uh, clicks on a particular link and in that case we want to prevent the user from navigating away from a particular route okay so we'll basically talk about the can deactivate guard in that case uh, so i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.